Let's turn our attention now to chieftaincy-related issues. And elders of Bese in Ghana say that um, Bese Manche should abdicate himself. And, but then some elders say that that call is baseless. Uh, in a rather interesting twist of events, the elders insist that the Bese Manche only promise to renounce his position or his stool should the NDC lose within his jurisdiction. And we'll be looking at that into detail because uh, we have a guest who has extensive knowledge when it comes to issues of chieftaincy and politics. We'll pick his thoughts shortly on the developments that have been ongoing in the last few days. So back to the, what the residents of Bese are saying. They further urged that since the NDC, they further argued, I beg your pardon, that since the NDC won uh, the Odododio constituency, the Gbese Manche was not compelled to abdicate his tool. Let's listen to what exactly they had to say. Now you can take care, Chief of Staff, Julius Debra, and the ARK President, John Tramani Mahama, and the ARBNO, ARBNO, your party, and me, the Afredo Vanderboy, the Nila the Vanderboy, the Mene Mene, the Ameye. I know you have a papa in America who are president that way. Nay, Tony B. Papa, Yellow Jurisdiction, Tamako Menin teacher, Boxing Gym, Eko Tamo, a loving tile, Eko Tamo, Mokara number two, Nimane who are about that sort, near Affairs of Adamaka. There are sure they get the mene, I know I'm a yea, yea, party and Nick and Banak Bena, Lena Ibotia, Ibaishi. All right, so has the narrative changed? Do you think that that is exactly what the Gbese Mancha said? Because we all heard him. But if that is what he said, it is still up to him to be a man of his words to rather explain. But let's put the issue, uh, you know, under the microscope. We've been joined in studio by Dr. Stephen um, Afrani. He is a senior lecturer at the Department of Sociology at the University of Ghana. And he's joined us in studio. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much Good for joining afternoon. us. Thank you for having me. Okay. Yeah. Um, to start with, we would want to, first of all, bring some clarity or just by way of transliteration, not the exact words, but just mm. trying to make meaning of what the gentleman whose voice we heard or whose picture we saw just said. He says that the Gbese Manche told the chief of staff, when the chief of staff came uh, to him during the campaign, that the chief of staff should go to Preston Mahama and tell President Mahama that he's got two sons in the NDC. And that is uh, Neil Ante Van der Poy and um, uh, Oko Van der Poy, who is the Accra mayor. So these two sons of his land or his jurisdiction are members of the NDC. And that if both of them should lose mm -hmm. and President Mahama loses also within his jurisdiction, then he would step down as the chief of BC. But is that what he really meant when he said that? Let's let's put a few <laughs> questions to <laughs> Dr. Stephen Afrani. He's joining us. Good afternoon, sir, again Good afternoon. for joining yeah. us. Yeah. What, in, in the first place, is your understanding of the entire drama surrounding chieftaincy and politics? Um, for me, you see, chieftaincy is a whole institution. An institution is uh, structured around values. The chief represents the entire social structure of the people. When I say social structure, I'm referring to the dead, the living, and the yet to be born. And the key value of the chieftaincy institution is unity. So you are representing the, the people within the symbolizing the social structure that link even the living, the dead, and yet to be born. To be born. So once you lose that value, for which reason we have the chieftaincy institution, then it's difficult for you to call yourself a chief. For me, mm. coming from an uh, academic uh, point of view, because it's the same institution regulating the chieftaincy that enable you to be where you are as a chief. The, the words of a chief, mm. how much weight does it carry? It, it carries heavy weight. You are speaking the, uh, the words of the ancestors. You are speaking the words of the living. You are speaking the word of the dead. That is why in some um, areas they say that the chief does not take, back, uh, take back the saliva he spits on mm. the ground. Mm. So the chief must be very careful in his utterances mm. because you are supposed to utter words that brings unity. Okay. So for a chief to say something and take it back, it means that you are not respecting the chieftain's institution. The constitution clearly states that chiefs cannot partake in active partisan 
politics. politics. So in this word, mm. in this context, do you think that the words mm. that the Grace of Manchester mm. spoke constitute active partisan politics? It is once you, you identify a particular party and say that if whether you are talking about your sons or whatever, because you have other sons who do not belong to that party. Mm. So if you single out a particular party and you say that if my sons in this party do not win, I'm going to abdicate my position. It means you are bringing divisions in your, your chiefdom. Mm. You see, so, so if, for instance, uh, a CPP person has a case, how, what confidence would they have in coming to you, to your palace, to settle the case for them, knowing that I have a case, I'm a CPP or PPP uh, with uh, an NDC person. Mm. And once you come out to say that you support NDC and you are my, you are my father, I mean principal, in that jurisdiction, the, the, what confidence the, do I have in coming to you to, to settle you. the case for us? The difficulty for many is the interpretation of what the chief said. Mm -hmm. We have g been giving a different interpretation, mm -hmm. meaning that that is what he meant, mm -hmm. not what we think we understood. Yeah. But at what point can we say that this is exactly what the chief meant, so we should leave it at that? Or he actually said this, probably he spoke in parables, mm -hmm. and that is not the exact words mm -hmm. he used. So at what point can we say, the interpretation being given to what the chief said is right or wrong? No, for me, for me, once you, you, you identify your people with the party, okay, irrespective of talking about the national or a constituency, once you are identifying the party to say that if the MP standing here on this ticket, if the person does not win, mm. you are already dividing the people. And the kind, that's why the constitution based provision so that you can earn the respect of everybody. Mm. And everybody will feel at home coming to you. So you go and vote, but we don't have to see you align with any particular party, so that we all feel comfortable coming mm. to you as a chief. So for me, it is neither uh, there nor here. That to say that I didn't say that is the president, <laughs> but it's the, it is the, the MP. You okay. are identifying with a particular party, mm. which means that for the other parties, you don't like them. Mm. And you are the chief for the whole people. Not just a group. Not just a group. We have a minute to go. And my last question to you would be, if the chief has a political um, lineage, mm. I mean, he likes a particular party, mm. not certainly like every Ghanaian, at what point can he state what he likes and what he doesn't? And can he, how much involvement can chiefs have in politics? Can they attend political functions? You see... Just as the constitution regulates the presidency, regulates ministers, the same way the chief institutions regulate you as a chief. Okay. And that is why the constitution makes provision to say that, look, because of the position you occupy and the kind of people who will come to you, we want you to vote, but don't declare your identification with any party. Mm. So that, I mean, you can, any political party coming there will feel comfortable. Feel comfortable to come to you. So for unless, for, for me, if you think that you want to identify with a party, it means you are not respecting the institution of chieftaincy. Okay. For the chieftaincy says, bring all of us together. Show love towards all of us. So if you identify a section of the population and you want to say that they are my favorites, it means that others can say anything mm. to you and you know how our politics can be dirty. So can you say that somebody has said anything to you on political platform for that reason, you are, you are calling the person to the palace. Mm. It is on politics the person said it. So we are saying that, look, in order to earn your respect, that you don't get these people talking to you anyhow. Stay your neutral, mm. vote, and let everybody be, feel comfortable coming um, to you. So for, to you, he should step down? Well, for me, once we identify with people and then the core value of chieftains is unity, it means that for me, technically, you are not a chief. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Stephen Afrani. He is a senior lecturer uh, in sociology at the University of Ghana, sociology department at the University of Ghana. Thank you very much for joining us in yeah. studio. This is still Medela.